Hey there, it's Darren. I hope you're doing well. I'm here in my office and I just completely rewrote and finished testing the new WP6 script. This of course being the internet connection sharing uh, script for the Wi-Fi Pineapple for Linux that has a lineage going back to the Mark IV era and now as we're into the sixth generation with the Wi-Fi Pineapple Nano and this is the same script that will be for the Tetra. Um, it's just exciting to completely redo it uh, using some of the new systems as a lot has changed over the years moving from if config to IP route to and things of that nature, some portability, uh, some good stuff but uh, let's just go ahead and dive right in. This is going to be available from Wi-Fi Pineapple.com slash WP uh, 6.sh so w get that you know make it executable and run it it's going to look like uh, sudo wp6.sh okay uh, first off um, I I don't want to say I got bored I got inspired maybe this is from running a lot of um, a lot of uh, metasploit lately but anyway uh, banners okay fine all right so you didn't come here for the banners, what you came here was to see the fun new features, which is basically that uh, on first time we're going to say like, hey, we're really going to advise you to go through the guided setup. Basically, the configuration consists of two parts. There's the basic configuration, which is just setting up your uh, the interface for your Wi-Fi Pineapple, the interface for your internet connection, and its default gateway. That Those are the basics. The, the rest, the more advanced stuff is if you happen to change the default IP range of your Wi-Fi Pineapple. By default it's a 172.16.42 whatever and if you want to you can you know be as creative as you want but that's kind of like an edge case thing so that's in advanced IP settings if you want to change those but for like the vast majority of people highly recommend just going through the guided setup first so I'm just gonna hit G so what it's gonna do first off is it's going to notice that I already have my Wi-Fi Pineapple plugged into my computer so I'm going to want to disconnect that and press any key to continue because uh, what we want to do and the reason for this is network managers that you'll find on systems like Ubuntu or Kali Linux uh, will find whatever the latest uh, Ethernet device and since the especially the Wi-Fi Pineapple Nano is an Ethernet device you plug it in and it shows up as a new Ethernet card um, it's going to just accept it you know it gets an IP address from the Pineapple from DHCP so your computer might think and this is what typically happens with these network managers that it is the new default gateway um, which in, interestingly is one of the fun ways the land turtle does its magic but in this case we don't want to change our computers default gateway because uh, we want to continue routing through whatever connection we had be it Ethernet or Wi-Fi or LTE modems or whatever have you before we plugged in our pineapple so that's why the guided setup is going to say hey just to make sure that we actually get the legit information here unplug your pineapple it's just the simplest way to do it if you know a better way to do it by all means, please tell me because I've been digging through ProcNet and everything else. Uh, but uh, this this is, I think, an elegant solution. So basically, a um, couple of questions here. Three, um, it's going to say like, hey, in my case, my default gateway is 1073311. I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter because I know that's correct. If I want to, I can say no and specify manually a different address. Similarly, it's going to want to know what's the interface that my internet connection is coming through. And in my case, that is F0 because I'm connected over uh, the LAN. So I'll go ahead and hit enter. If I, for some reason, had a wireless card and I wanted to rather use that, I could totally do that just by hitting no. Uh, and again, you can always do manual setup. All right, so at this point, it's waiting for us to connect the Wi-Fi pineapple back to the computer. So I'm just going to grab my USB Y cable here. And as soon as I plug this in, um, blue light comes on, starts booting, and it notices it, or I should point over there, it notices Wi-Fi Pineapple and immediately gets its uh, its Ethernet interface. Again, my, in my case, I'm F17, that's just me. Yours is probably going to be F1. Great, we're done, we're saved. So now I can hit C to connect. And at this point, it's going to wait for my Wi-Fi Pineapple to continue booting. See, this is the sanity check we're doing now, is to say, okay, great, well, I see your pineapple, it's on F17, but I'm actually not going to set up the routing until I've successfully sent pings to and from it. And so that's why it takes just a moment there. And actually, uh, I haven't even finished completely booting, you know, starting up a few other scripts, but networking was going enough so that um, my computer could ping the Wi-Fi pineapple. And that's where you see it, you know, detecting the Wi-Fi pineapple and then found. So at this point, we're done. I can actually, you know, browse over to 
the, the regular address and log in with my development password. And I can see that if I load bulletins, da 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 da, I'm connected to the internet through my Wi Fi Pineapple or scratch that reverse it which means that anybody connected to the Wi-Fi pineapple is also going to be connected to the internet through this computer so you know have fun with that you know Wireshark whatever else you want because you are your computer is now the man in the middle as is the uh, Wi-Fi pineapple a um, few other things on that do want to mention if you don't want to go through that uh, well first of all you only have to go through the initial setup once so now every subsequent time that I uh, start this up I just have to hit C to connect it's going to remember those settings and it says right here what it's going to do it's going to share the internet from F0 to F17 using this default gateway if that happens to change if you move around if you change from Ethernet to Wi-Fi you'll have to go through the setup again but you have two choices in that case it's either the guided setup that I just showed you or you can do a manual setup and I'll just walk through that again just to show you what it looks like essentially all we need to do is know the Wi-Fi pineapples interface in this case for mine I know it's number two and I can tell because you know it's IP range um, and then also the fact that it's at 17 um, and then we select our internet interface. You can see I'm actually connected to the internet on my laptop through both ethernet and wireless. So, you know, I could choose either of these, but I'm gonna go with the ethernet, it's a little faster. And then at this point, it's just a matter of specifying my default gateway. And I know this one to be my default gateway. I'll just plug that guy in and there we go. So either way, whether you do it with the guided setup where you have to plug your pineapple in uh, or through the manual setup where you just choose the interfaces, it's pretty simple. Um, so I wanted to just go ahead and put that out there. I look forward to your feedback. Um, I think I may be adding like profiles down the line if you use this among like a few different machines. But I mean, ultimately, I feel like this being a complete rewrite uh, using some of the newer ways of determining this stuff, like moving from IP, uh, IF config to IP or uh, IP route to as it's known in the package repository, which is on all of the modern Linux operating systems. If you don't have it, this script will throw you a warning and say, yo dog, you just need to get that dependency. But uh, still, I find this to be uh, pretty robust, a lot of error handling in there. Um, so I, I hope that this works really well for everybody and I'm looking forward to your feedback. I'm excited as we're like, you know, just marching along through Ardwolf Ambulance, you know, the 1.0.x release of uh, the Wi-Fi Pineapple, at least on the Nano and uh, just good, awesome stuff coming along. I can't wait to share more fun stuff with you. Uh, so yeah, leave some uh, feedback uh, either in this video or join me over on the forums and you can find links to the Wi-Fi Pineapple forums at wifipineapple.com. With that, cheers.